Hyperlinks, also known as links, work the same in PowerPoint as they do online. They have their own display text, for example, USA.gov retirement resources, and an email address, web page, or some other location that they're linked to. I'd like to show you how to turn text into a link, starting here. All you have to do is go to the Insert tab, then Link. In this dialog box, you can see the text that the link is going to display and edit it if you need to. You can also enter a web address here. When you're done, click OK, and the text will turn into a link. Why don't we try linking to an email address? I think it would be nice if new employees could click this person's name to contact Human Resources. This time, I'm going to right-click the text and choose Link here instead of going to the Insert tab. Now click Email Address and enter the recipient's email address here. Other options include linking to a file on your computer. For example, I'd like to be able to pull up the Employee Benefits Guide, which happens to be a Word document. Again, just right-click, go to Link, and choose Existing File or Web Page. From here, you can navigate to any file on your computer. Just double-click the file you want to link to. Keep in mind, your link to another file may not work if you plan to send your PowerPoint out or present it on a different computer. Make sure you have a copy of the linked file on the computer you're using to present, and always test your links before giving a presentation. To test, just right-click and go to Open Link. And this one's working great. Right-clicking on a link also lets you edit it or remove it. There's one other type of link I'd like to try. I have a table of contents at the beginning of my presentation, and I want to be able to click on an item to go to that particular slide. And instead of turning the text into a link, we can use the whole shape itself. This way, the viewer can click anywhere on the shape to jump to that slide. Let's start with About AdWorks. Just right-click on it and select Link. Click Place in this document, and from here, you can choose from a list of slides, with a little preview on the right. Here's the slide I want to link to, so I'll just click OK. Repeat this process until your table of contents is complete, and don't be afraid to get creative. There are lots of things you can do with the ability to link to other slides. Let's try out one of these links in Slideshow View. See that? I was on slide 2, and now I'm on slide 11. Using links in your presentation is a great way to make navigating to resources online, referring to another slide, or accessing files easy and convenient. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.